Hi guys, today we are going to make some graphite electrodes and no, not from batteries, but from these pencils because their core is just so annoyingly graphite rich. And we're going to be turning them into these. By means of your drain cleaner, which just happens to be an industrial wood pulping agent for making paper, so it's like 100% ideal. So step one would be to remove the erasers from the pencils because they're not going to be much of a use. So you will just twist them and there they go. Okay, and now they are all properly de-eraserized. Um, we can prepare our sodium hydroxide solution now. And... A good thing to know is that when you're doing it in a plastic cup, or basically when you're doing it in any vessel, which you have to, is that the dissolution of sodium hydroxide generates a huge amount of heat. So, such heat that simply melting the cup is a minor concern. Boiling the water is a major one. And those three pencils will consume about one tablespoon of sodium hydroxide and it's generally a good thing to add twice that amount to keep the reaction fast. Then, because we don't want to waste a stir rod, we're just going to use our pencil. Oh look, it's getting warm. At this point it is considered done and we can take a look at our reactant vessel, which will be this grad cylinder, or you can use anything that's thin and long. So we're going to pour these inside. And then this pencil can go in. Okay, now we have arrived at complication number one. They float. So you can simply cut out a piece of mesh or something and then press it and then press it all down. It works surprisingly well. And then complication number two. We gotta find a place for this thing to fit, for this thing to sit for at least 24 hours without disturbing, without stirring, without moving, without looking at it. And I've decided that the Bathtub is the best place. 